My name is Anirban Bandopadhyay and I'm working as a senior scientist in the National Institute for the Material Science in Tsukuba, Japan and I'm working on building up a state-of-the-art technology-based machines to listen to the music of the proteins and image it live. We are also trying to synthesize artificial organic molecules and create brain jelly that can replicate the biological rhythms. Any people visiting our laboratory would get surprised to see that we have no passion to publish papers, no passion to get through many, many patents, no passion to become um, very popular all over the world. What we are doing is a complete single goal. We have to understand, we have to unveil the nested rhythm network in the living system and give answer to the queries, what is information in the biological system and what is the memory in the brain, how information is being processed. We have not left any stone unturned. We have state-of-the-art scanning tunneling microscopy to observe at the, at the elementary scale. We have organic synthesis, hardcore total organic synthesis laboratory and, the, and, and then we have characterization facilities, even supercomputing facilities. When you enter into our laboratory, the first thing you, are under, under, you would uh, be confused that what this guy wants to do, what is their specialization. Every time we encounter a problem, we invite the, those scientists from all over the world. They come here, we learn from each other, we set up those laboratories, we, we garner it and we move into di different directions. What does not change in our lab is the problem that what is information and how biological systems and the universe is processing information. I'm Sneha Shikta Sharnokar and I'm working as principal scientist in the Indian Institute of Chemical Biology. My specialization is protein chemistry. We study the action of natural and synthetic small drugs, either they are in free form or in their nanocapsulated form and we deliver it into uh, animal model which is inflammatory disease model. I do work a little bit uh, on aging in respect to recovery from brain uh, stroke of aged versus uh, young rat. We are hoping for a particular nested rhythm for each and every individual. My protocol to drastically slowing down aging or arresting aging is to map a human body and mind and the brain and the infrastructure and then create in situ 24 by 7 monitoring of how that nested rhythm network is evolving and then pump the, to the body if necessary chemicals if necessary particular kind of molecules, particular kind of lifestyles and artificial electromagnetic or even sound other kind of vibrations to the body even even pumping a particular kind of music. Working on sound frequency in animal system a bit new to my colleagues. Working with a physicist who is our team leader is a real fun being a biologist. <laughs> Yeah. The first day when I observed it that a sucks, protein sucks. while playing its music is was dancing and changing its character in a scanning tunneling microscope. When I saw that with every single frequency it is changing its structure and it was, it was dancing from one life form to another, one structure to another, 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 another spontaneously. It's alive and we created an, uh, a structure almost um, something like this and we fill it with a, with, a, with a jelly molecule and when we connected with the EEG machine that showed me that how a nested rhythm network is born. Every single technology necessary to make this particular protocol for the benefit of uh, the global mass is ready in our laboratory. We just need resources to put them together and create uh, a usable handy machine. The announcement of Palo Alto Prize has excited us a lot because we found that thus far biology was all about chemicals, molecules and reactions and ion flows and all these things. So there was no integrated system biology approach and everything was not included. So this Palo Alto competition in terms of longevity enables us and gives us an enormous opportunity how we can bring all these knowledges together in a singular platform what it would give is the collective effort driven protocol that 
would enable us to look at the system biology in a completely unique perspective and that would be the greatest achievement of this Palo Alto mission. This prize gives us a platform to slow down the rhythm of wheel of life or in other words it helps halt, to halt the age and uh, that too in a healthy condition. We are so much advanced in molecular biology, genetics, bioinformatics, biophysics and we need uh, to initiate a joint venture to extend our lifespan. Working together will give us success. It is more important to segregate big problem into several single problem and finally link to get insight into it. In 2010, suddenly pressure hiked in my father's brain and he got hematoma, brain hemorrhage. And I had to switch off the life support system on the ninth day so that he could die peacefully. That incident made a change and I decided to make molecular machines that would go inside the brain and clean the deposits. I have already created with my group members and others collaborators uh, a set of molecular machines to clean these deposits to cure um, uh, uh, some kind of cancers and then some kind of Alzheimer's. I will definitely create a, several generations of these nano machines which would be able to uh, clear the deposits from the brain and restore the nested rhythm network. Every single nested rhythm in my body are interconnected. They are not only connected from single atom to the giant body structure that I am holding right now. Even I am talking to you, a, a kind of complicated nested rhythms are playing out with each other electromagnetically, chemically, with sound energy and all these things are happening and not only it ends with my body, it connects to the solar system and all the inner planetary system. I feel like I am part of the universal life forms from the, from the Planck scale to the extreme end of this universe. I, I feel that there is no end. So it's a huge life form and I'm part of it. Just like the neuron cell in my brain doesn't know anything about me, I'm interacting with you. In the same way, I am also part of the life form. And this is the this feeling is the greatest source of inspiration and motivation for my research. If we live for eight years, only 40 to 50 days we can remember in our life when we live the fullest. And there were pain, there were agony, and there were many, many things that attacked us and gave us pain. Can we have a painless life until we leave? <laughs>